This video is going to demonstrate uh, something kind of new and something that oh, sometimes can be a little bit tricky just because the syntax can trip people up. So what we're going to talk about here is we're going to talk about declaring a range object. Um, this is kind of the first time we've actually talked about objects in the uh, VBA environment beyond just using um, like cell objects if you will. So uh, let's go take a look at some code. Right off the bat, you're going to notice that there's something kind of new here in our dim statement. In this particular case, we're declaring a variable. And you'll notice the variable name. There's nothing magic about that. But you'll notice the data type here. The data type is of type range. Um, before the basic data types we were talking about, numbers and strings, were, were essentially quite simple types. But this is an object type. And the object types in uh, Visual Basic act very differently than the more simple types that we've been working with. If you want to kind of keep that distinction in your mind between the object types and the simple types, uh, it would be a good idea. The simple types would include integer, string, double, long, single, and Boolean. Those are some of the ones I think I've already mentioned. So you want to think of those as simple types. The object types that we'll be talking about in this class would be the range type. We might talk about a, a collection type. We might talk about a worksheet or a workbook or a sheet type. All of those are object types. And you'll see in the next statement how they are a little bit different the way they work. So in this next statement down where we actually set the value of our variable, here's the variable data cells, and we're going to go ahead and store a value into that. Well, what we want to do is we want to store an object, a range object, into that variable. And to actually store an object into an object variable, you have to use the set keyword. And I can't tell you how easy it is to forget to use that set keyword. And your program is just going to give you an error message if you don't do it. In fact, why don't I just go ahead and I'll delete the set keyword here. And we'll just run this and see what happens. So I'll just go ahead and hit run. And immediately it comes down and I get this error message that says object variable or with block not set. In other words, I actually remove the set keyword and Visual Basic tells me you can't do that. So I'll just hit the end button here. And let's go ahead and put that set back in there. So what we want to do is we want to set this to a range on our sheet. And so the way we set something to a range on the sheet is actually pretty simple. We use the range keyword here. The range is not really a keyword. It's, a, it's like a range object. And we specify the beginning cell of our range. That's the first use of the cells that you see here. So in this case, we're talking about cell A1, right? Row 1, column 1. And then we give it the second cell in our range, which, of course, is the ending cell in that range. In this case, it would be row 4, column 4, or column D. So that would be D4. So this would actually select as a range object. It would create a range object of 16 cells. Um, and all of them would then essentially be stored, that range would be stored into this variable. Now this is kind of an interesting idea because think about it, we have 16 cells stored inside that range object called data cells. So when I say data cells is set equal to zero, well again you have to remember that that's 16 cells, that's a range of cells. So it's going to put that zero into every cell in that range. So that's kind of cool. And then again, notice on this next statement, we're going to take that same range and we're going to set the interior color to an RGB color. Um, this is kind of a light green color. And finally, in this particular example, you'll see I'm actually putting a formula into those cells. It's the ran between formula that will put a random number between 1 and 1,000 into all those cells. So I'll have 16 numbers between the range of 1 and 1,000. So we can actually see how this would work. We, we go ahead and declare a, uh, uh, just a numeric variable here. Notice that's a long. So this is one of the more simple variables I was telling you about a minute ago. And we then basically say which of the values in our range, and again, notice data cells is the range there, 
has the maximum value. So here I'm saying worksheet function, and I use the max worksheet function, and I pass it this range object. And this range object, again, is 16 cells. So it's going to look through all those 16 cells and find the maximum value and store it into my number. And then I simply print that back to the user using the, the variable in the message box. In fact, I, I keep confusing the message box with the input box. I really don't need those parentheses right there, so let me get rid of those parentheses. So, so there's a basic message box statement. So again, the, the key here is that you declare it to be a range type, and then you use the set keyword to actually assign a range to that variable. This turns out to be a very powerful tool that we're going to use a lot, so really focus on that. And you use cells to specify the beginning cell and the ending cell in the range. So let's go ahead and just run this program and, and see what it does. I'll just go ahead and hit F5 here. And it says the max is 906. And you notice you can't actually tell if that's true or not because of my silly box here. So let me go ahead and just fix that real quickly. We'll go ahead and move that box out of the way. Obviously not anticipating that now, was I? And we'll go ahead and run this again. And now it says the max is 821. Now when it ran it again, of course, it put the ran between in all these. And of course, every time it put the ran between into those cells, it recalculates the sheet. So there's the 821 right there. And uh, indeed, that looks like that's the largest value in my range of cells. So this is a, this is a, is a nice, a simple little piece of code that demonstrates a pretty powerful concept of using an object type range. So go ahead and play around with that.